I'm Federico, I come from Italy and uh, I am a digital workplace uh, specialist uh, in pub public sector. And today I would like to share a solution I created with the Microsoft List and Power Automate. But uh, I would like to, to tell how uh, everything began because uh, a couple of months ago I came across a solution provided by a Microsoft Teams competitor. And then I commented, uh, well, why not Microsoft Teams, Teams 2? So let's try using a Microsoft List and putting together Microsoft List, uh, Power Automate uh, and Microsoft Teams. Uh, because uh, uh, we know that Microsoft List is uh, our smart uh, tracking information map and we can um, create a lot of things to track uh, information, for example, tasks, tasks uh, activities uh, and so on. But in this case, if uh, we are asked to create a list to, for example, uh, uh, highlight dates in group uh, records by dates, if uh, we need to uh, keep an eye on attachment, and if we want other users to use uh, this list uh, as a template, is it possible to do this? Well, the answer is yes, but before creating a uh, this list, I put a little of effort on having a general idea of what the list should be. Because as we can see, each record is composed of three basic components, a top bar, a writing box, and a toolbar. And I tried to create a basic template so that thanks to modularity and flexibility, it could, it could be uh, further customized by other user. And uh, then if uh, we, that we can have uh, a list breakdown with uh, the main components and uh, each record, as we can see, has a title bar, a writing box, and uh, here is a toolbar where we can keep track or, uh, of um, Various information. For example, we have a people picker and activity status, uh, the out of the box tool, for example, uh, uh, the share, the share icon, uh, the bin, etc. And, and uh, in this case, uh, I have created a section where we can have a point of access of uh, our favorite uh, Office apps. But uh, I would like to share another thing. Uh, at this point, we could use uh, these. Uh, solution, uh, as we can see in uh, my slide. But uh, what if uh, we want to track uh, and manage uh, attachment uh, in a list if uh, required by our process? Well, in this case, uh, we cannot use uh, the length function directly in a Microsoft list because uh, it uh, won't work. So we uh, should have uh, a deeper look uh, by using uh, Power Automate. So as we can see here, uh, we have uh, the Power Automate flow in a nutshell, uh, where there are some basic steps. It's not there are not so many steps here, where we can see the importance of getting things. So after we get uh, information about the attachment column, then this uh, Power Automate flow will uh, update a specific a specific column called uh, attachment number, and then. Uh, an icon with the exact number of uh, attachment will be displayed in our list. So obviously, this um, my tutorial will be available in my GitHub and also in the official uh, GitHub repository. Uh, I think that uh, obviously there are also the Microsoft, Microsoft list uh, official docs if uh, you want to have um, a further look about this. But uh, if I have a couple of minutes, David, uh, I uh, would like to share a real-time demo of uh, this uh, solution. So thanks for, for watching for with my slides. I can ask. Let's go here in uh, my solution. And uh, as we can see here, we have my activity tracking solution. And uh, the modularity is uh, visible here, because uh, if uh, we need more space, uh, Obviously, thanks to JSON, uh, we can uh, increase uh, our uh, the space uh, if needed. And uh, let's create a new item in uh, real time. For example, here I can create a, a low word. I can save immediately, and uh, I can uh, edit uh, later thanks to the uh, line edit field property. For example, I can write uh, here a text. I can uh, choose, uh, for example, the people involved, or if uh, this is a, 
uh, uh, tasks. Uh, um, well, the people are uh, assigned to these tasks, for example, Mario Rossi. Here. I can uh, choose, uh, for example, the, the status progress uh, and so on. Okay, uh, and uh, based on uh, the solution, if I uh, attach uh, a document, uh, then the Power Automate flow as documented in my tutorial will show you uh, an icon as uh, visible here with uh, the exact numbers of uh, uh, attachment provided here. And uh, obviously we can also open in uh, the standard pane as uh, shown here. And uh, that's it. We have also a point of access for each apps, office apps, but obviously we can further customize it. For example, if you want to add other internal apps not available in Microsoft stores, well, it's possible we can do it here by modifying the JSON provided in my tutorial. And uh, that's all. So thanks, David, uh, for uh, giving me this important opportunity. And uh, I... Absolutely. Well done, Federico. Thank you very much. And there's some links uh, for Federico's demo in the chat and some questions. Uh, Federico, I'll let you follow up with those in the chat just for uh, concern of time, but excellent job. Thank you very much. I love how you're combining uh, Microsoft Lists and Power Automate using the Power Platform along with the M365 stuff. Really well done. That's really how the technology is best used. So thank you so much. Thank you.